In today's video, what we are going to be doing is we're going to be having a look at how we can fix side channel mitigations on VMware. Now, if you have YouTube this or search this, what you'll be able to see when you are trying to boot up your different machines is something like this. I'm going to close down my backup Kali and also my Windows 10 ISA. And I've just fixed this on my current version of VMware. So if we go back onto backup ISO now and try to boot, we'll get an error message which says you are running this virtual machine with side channel mitigations enabled. Now, the reason why I'm having this problem now is because this morning I installed WSJ2 and it seems to be conflicting with VMware. So in order to solve this problem, I'm going to click on all of my ISO images. I'm going to select on edit virtual machines. And then what I'm going to do is go across to the options tab, go down to advanced. And then we need to select this option here, which says disable side channel mitigations. Now, what I also noticed was once I rebooted my normal version of Kali instead of my backup here, I was not actually able to run any updates or upgrades. It was failing to connect to the internet. So in order to fix this, I've had to clean some of the memory inside Kali because it's saying my memory is now full. So I've done apt get and then auto remove. And again, you can see I've run a full upgrade here again, but it failed. So I did apt update fix missing, also not working. And then the next thing I have done here before my upgrade is I've done apt get clean. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna have a look at this machine boot, and we're gonna see if we are able to update it to the latest version. And if you're not, hopefully now we have fixed the problem with side channel mitigations now being disabled, we'll then be able to look at what tools you need to use in order to continue fixing Kali. Now, I'm pretty sure while we're waiting here that I've got the same problem with all of my ISO images. So I'm just gonna click in edit virtual machine settings here. While we're waiting, I'm gonna go over to options and advanced again. And I'm gonna need to do this for all of my VMs. So I'm gonna need to select on disable side channel mitigations. So let's go back over to our Kali and we are gonna log in. And let's check out what is happening with our update and also our upgrade. So now we are inside it. So let's open up a terminal and let's see if we are able to update and upgrade here. So as I said, on my other version of Kali, it did fail. And I'm testing it here to see if I've got the same problem. This is actually looking okay at the moment. Let's just let it finish. And this actually looks like it's working. So I'm not actually running into those same problems, but if you do run into those problems, I would recommend you do the auto remove like I have done over here. And so that's apt to get auto remove and then apt to get clean. And that will clean up any of your memory inside Kali. So I'm going to do that now anyway, just to demo how that works. So we do apt to get and then auto remove. And it's then just going to clean up your memory inside Kali Linux. So this is a really, really useful command for you today. And you can see it's removing lots of things which we are no longer using. Just to make sure that we have enough available memory. And then the last one is going to be the apt get and also clean here. So you can see apt clean actually. You don't need to use apt get anymore. So the last one is apt and then clean. And you can see here, uh, let's do it with get clean. See if it's any difference. Okay, and spell it correctly. There we go, and there's nothing to run. So it's already cleaned up our system here. So we should be able to do our apt and also upgrade now. Now, hopefully this has been useful for you. This is really, really frustrating. And you can see here, I've actually got some broken packages here so we can do a full upgrade. And again, if you get this, uh, this is what you should do as well. So the full upgrade. So for those of you having issues with side channel mitigations, Hopefully this has resolved that problem for you. I'm going to leave this booting for now. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in our other videos on cybersecurity and ethical hacking where we explore some exciting concepts soon.